It's easier for your kids to get these than beer. You may have seen this public service ad on our air recently as the number of fentanyl deaths continues to rise in Kansas. Cedric County leaders are sounding the alarm and trying to get the word out. It takes just one pill to kill. At the same time, victims, victims, families and law enforcement say they need more tools to fight what they're calling an epidemic. Cake political reporter Pilar Pedraza is asking lawmakers what they're doing to stop the deaths. We're hoping that we can get charges mm -hmm. filed. This wasn't you know, treated as a murder. We've introduced you to Lauren Hoffine and Ashley Alexander before. Both lost loved ones to fentanyl. Lauren's younger sister, Autumn, died after a long battle with drugs. My sister, she didn't know it was going to be her last time. And we had plans for the upcoming weekend, and she, she didn't get to fulfill those plans with me. While Ashley believes her fiancé accepted what he thought was a pain pill from a co-worker, a pill that killed him. He had a long future ahead of us. We were really excited about, you know, where we were going and what we were doing. Both speaking up in hopes of preventing someone else from suffering like they and their loved ones have, and both hoping the law will help turn the tide of this epidemic. Ashley says her fiance's case hung up, waiting for test results before she'll find out if anyone will face criminal charges for his death. Even law enforcement telling us they need help from Topeka. Right now, fentanyl is being treated like any other opiate uh, within state court. Really haven't sat down uh, to take a look at this to go, is there something else that we need to change within the laws uh, to make fentanyl even more so a drug that can be charged at a higher level with more sentencing. Something that won't happen this year. The state legislature ended the 2022 session last week without making any changes to state law. We're dealing with a poison and it's time to change the law. Despite multiple efforts from lawmakers like Hutchinson Representative Jason Probst, including a push on the very last day of work. Well, if you checked your email in the last 24 hours, it's no surprise what I'm about to do. To legalize the possession of fentanyl testing strips in Kansas. Nothing about fentanyl test strips facilitates the use of drugs. I, if I give you fentanyl test strips, it, it does nothing to help you consume the drug. The effort failed because the Senate had twice blocked the proposal earlier in the year. Fentanyl strips identify that fentanyl is present or isn't present in the drug. And let's be clear, there are individuals that want fentanyl in the drug that they've purchased or acquired. The two arguments are understandable from both sides. Senate President Ty Masterson says he doesn't see key members of the Senate changing their minds next year. Even victims' families are split on the issue. I feel like that would possibly encourage the use. I'm not condoning like illegal drug use at all, mm. but if it saves lives, I think why not? What about increased penalties for dealers? There is more consensus on that. While Wichita police say they automatically prosecute fentanyl deaths as murders, not all departments do. That's one thing mm. Ashley Alexander would like to see happen. In order to get an autopsy in that rush, it has to be like labeled a murder. Well, to get, <laughs> to get it labeled as a murder, we have to have the autopsy. If you sell fentanyl to someone and they die, we ought, that should be charged as murder. I think we should probably look at some mandatory sentences for uh, people who sell fentanyl. Probes has led the charge against fentanyl in the legislature for the last couple of years. His ideas about tougher penalties, perhaps a little more welcome with Senate leadership. They don't surprise me. Um, just the presence of a drug that lethal is tragic. Uh, anything we can do to help prevent that. But Probes says the time for change is quickly running out and lawmakers are done for the year. The purest form, if we are interested in saving lives, if we are interested in keeping people in our state alive, some of these strategies are going to have to be in place and we're going to have to get lawmakers to move on them. Again, something those who opposed him on test strips agreed on. I don't think we should wait until next session. With lawmakers done in Topeka for the year, I asked leadership about the possibility of either an interim task force or a special session. They told me both are under discussion, but would not commit to anything just yet. Meanwhile, everyone is saying we need to educate Kansans, especially teens, about just how dangerous fentanyl is. With things like this promo you've been seeing on our air.
Pilar Pedraza with this Cake News Investigates follow-up.